who was Abraham? Abraham lived about 4,000 years ago in the Middle East. He is known for his trust in God. Abraham's story began when God told him to leave his home and move to a new country that God would show him. Abraham obeyed God. When he arrived in the new country, God showed him the sky and told him that his descendants would be as many as the stars in the sky one day. Abraham and his wife Sarah were quite old when all of this happened. They became impatient, and Abraham slept with Sarah's servant, Hagar, in order to have a child, and they named the child Ishmael. Later, Abraham was visited by three men, who confirmed that Sarah will soon become pregnant and have a child. They also told Abraham that God wants to destroy the nearby cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, because the people living there were doing awful things to each other. Abraham tried to convince God to spare the cities, if there were still at least a few good people living there. Sadly, there were no such people there, and the cities were destroyed. Only Abraham's nephew and his daughters who lived there were saved by two angels. Abraham and Sarah had a child that they called Isaac. When Isaac became a young man, God spoke to Abraham and gave him a task. He wanted Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, which means killing him in order to please God. Abraham obeyed, but shortly before he actually killed Isaac, God intervened and praised Abraham because he showed that God was more important to him than his own son. Abraham is the father of Judaism. Also, Islam and Christianity see him as a forefather of their faith. <laughs>